Hi, welcome. This is the energy of today, February 5th. I hope you're doing well. Spirit, what is the energy for today, February 5th? What is the viewer need to see and hear for today, February 5th? February 5th. Okay. So let's see. Uh, the Eight of Water. So maybe you're deciding on something that you want to let go of. Uh, these were these would be things that are not helping you to grow spiritually or um, things that don't benefit you anymore. Maybe you're in deep thought. I don't know. This could be within family. This could be within friends. This could be with work. Um, this could just be those little things that you sort of have a gut feeling to move on from and maybe you hold on to them maybe in fear or um, emotionally or even that sense of, um, you know, maybe doing things for other people. So this is really that desire to move on and to somehow um, go towards something that is either more spiritual or more meaningful for you. It helps you to sort of expand. And then the, the next one that came out is the dreamer. So this is taking that leap of faith. So maybe you're questioning something that you want to uh, go towards or um, who knows, maybe it's, it's work or um, moving or something like that. It's something that you're really being asked to take the plunge in maybe it's following your dreams or things like that but it gives you that sense of um, unexpected opportunities if you sort of change something about the situation that you're in um, it sets you up to start over to perhaps maybe um, let go of any kind of resentments or anything that anything that you've been sort of holding on to and then you have the nine of fire and so the nine of fire is really telling you don't give up and before I started, I was in meditation and I really did hear, do not give up. And so that's what this card is. It's almost like that sense of um, you're almost there. Maybe you're just being thrown a lot of roadblocks or things that sort of make you go away from what it is that you truly desire or want. Okay. Um, I do feel like this is where you could have protection. Maybe you've healed from something. You've gotten thicker skin. In other words, when I when I say protection, it's almost like you're you're standing up for something. You it takes a lot of courage. Also, is what I feel. Um, but it's also telling you that you're in control. So you're in the driver's seat and you're driving your car, which is your your body. So maybe this is that little kind of energy that's trying to tell you that you are enough and maybe believe in yourself something like that um with the nine of fire it could be anything related to you know work or new projects that you want to go towards and so maybe you have to leave something that you you know it's not really serving your purpose anymore um and then you have the king of earth so this is about being generous. This is about being stable and having enough, but also sharing with others, um, being responsible. Um, it's also that kind of t uh, energy of being successful and achieving your goals. So it also comes through as far as uh, being confident within yourself and accepting opportunities. So maybe there's been things that maybe were thrown at you before and you walked away from them. You didn't say yes to them, you know? Maybe you're kicking kicking yourself because you, you didn't take an opportunity, you know? But it, it is almost as you're pulling towards something that is stable and grounding for you in the sense of, you know, if it's a new job or maybe even becoming your own boss or uh, that sense of even just being emotionally stable, you know, you have to take that as it resonates. But the top of the deck is the Ace of Fire. So there are a lot of new exciting opportunities that will come knocking at your door. Maybe this is career advancement. Um, this is also changing your whole dynamic, your whole life. Um, it's a beginning. With the, with the dreamer, it's a new beginning, and so is the ace of fire. So see, with the dreamer, it's really spirit sort of, sort of trying to take Try, sort of trying to get you to take that plunge and with the ace of fire is really that passion that is burning inside of you to go towards something um let's see the bottom of the deck and this is the underlying energy so three of fire so you have three of fire and this is um 
this is about abundance and so maybe manifesting the things that will make you feel abundant and secure and stable um this is a card of telling you maybe you've been waiting and it is a good sign because it's telling you that you will achieve the things that you've been trying to go towards. Um, maybe you have to have a little of a, a little patience before it hits you as far as your manifestation appears in front of you. Um, this is also making long-term plans. Um, I do feel like there is that sense of, uh, you know, with the aid of water, maybe there are those things that are going being thrown in front of you and you just sort of want to throw in the towel and walk away from something. Um, it's something that maybe you've been waiting to change or, um, you know, something that you'll be abundant in, but maybe you just don't see it yet. Maybe you're throwing it in the, in the towel too soon, you know? Um, so, and you could be feeling this way because of the new moon, definitely. So take it as it resonates for you today. I will go a little deeper and see what these mean for you. So welcome guys, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for being here. Uh, thank you for being patient with me. I just have so much going on. And uh, sometimes I just run out of daylight. You know, I can't do everything. <laughs> Oops, sorry about that, guys. That is me. Let's see here. Let's see if I need to push it back just a little bit. Okay, so let's see here. I want to know what is the aid of water? So the aid of water is that feeling in, in your gut that just sort of um it's pulling you towards something new you have the the three of swords oh wow two swords the three of sword and the ten of swords so what is it that you, you sort of know i feel like you sort of know the things that are road blocking you or stopping you um three of swords is very kind of uh betrayal uh, maybe you gave your control to someone else just like the card shows it's almost as if maybe someone has had the upper hand and you really have not really done anything to get out of it um i think that 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 is coming to an end especially with the ten of swords so um it could be that sense of where you have to look at the bright side or even look at things in a more kind of positive way if that makes sense because i feel as almost with the three of swords it could be that sort of um maybe you're beating yourself up or you just don't trust anything anymore or it's almost as if you just you've been so betrayed but what spirit is really trying to tell you is that you can go the distance and that's what i got with the nine of fire um, you can go the distance and really somehow um, not give up. So if you've been stuck as far as your mindset, thinking that you always get the short end of the stick or everything just goes wrong, there's a way to sort of counteract that. And that would be by thinking positive uh, because the swords are definitely, um, you know, in, in your mind. So I do feel like something is ending for you. And I do feel in your gut feeling it's like it's trying to tell you to let go of something is it a relationship because eight of cups you know cups are emotion they're they're dealing with other people um and maybe you've given your control to someone else what is the ten of swords it's almost as if with the ten of swords you no longer want to stay in that situation and that tells me so with the knight of swords as well almost like you've had enough maybe you're at your end you know you take so much you take so much and then you sort of just break okay maybe you're breaking free from something that's dominating also this one right here you got the seven of pentacles so waiting for you to get that reap is it is it something dealing with money where you know maybe you have to hang tight because of money um maybe you're waiting for something to complete so you can get that that reward or that sense of growth or um maybe the next opportunity for you for you but it's finance i feel it's finance um and then you have the queen of wands um the devil and the knight of pentacles so really a long road it's as if maybe there's been a struggle you know there's a lot of lessons that have been learned here um perhaps you're letting go of something very toxic as far as people maybe a marriage maybe um a partner a business partner 
um, just those negative things is what I feel here. And perhaps maybe this is where you open up and you go about it different. You go about it with gratitude and maybe forgiveness. And in that sense of allowing yourself to grow again with the Queen of Wands, maybe this is a person who sort of inspired you or taught you or mentored you or even someone that you might want to go towards, okay, with the knight of pentacles and the knight of swords so is this a person that maybe you sort of might have said no to and now you're kicking your feet because maybe you really want to go towards this person is there a passionate connection there um i do feel like something is going to happen here in that sense <clears throat> if you're waiting for that job you're going to get that offer if you're waiting for your money to come in, like maybe you've been in a battle or some kind of art disagreement and maybe waiting for your money to be released or something like that, I feel like it's going to come in for you. Um, maybe this is an offer of love or passion or something like this also, okay? I do feel that um, you are in this place where things are going to start changing for you. And I do feel it's quickly. I do feel it's something that has maybe you need it to be taught or I, I feel when I say that it's almost as if you've learned your lesson you learned something so you can go forward if that makes sense okay I want to know just give me one for the devil what's the devil energy there please um okay it's that one right there um the ten of pentacles so Oh, they gave me two. So the moon and the ten of pentacles. You're scared to move on from the situation. Something that you've been in for a long time, you're scared to move on from it. But yet the gut feeling tells you that that cycle's ended. So you're keeping yourself in a cycle that you probably already know you're not going to get your abundance or your reward by staying in it. Okay, whatever that is. Might be your mind or might be the sense of even family or... um something dealing with something that you've settled or meaning you're settling there not letting yourself to expand if that makes sense okay with the moon there is change happening and i do feel like maybe this is you letting go of fear to change to move out of the situation that you've been in the rut in other words okay um so let's see i want to know what is the dreamer what does the dreamer mean what is the dreamer so taking that leap of faith it's really spirit trying to push you and to let you know you will be successful even if you weren't successful in the previous situation whether that's a marriage or a relationship okay um you got the world which is soon i'm hearing soon okay change will happen and then uh the hangman so the hangman is in reverse the things you've been waiting for uh the things that haven't come to for you maybe you shied away from enlightenment or spirit or even from a person if it is the queen of wands you know um and then you have the eight of wands in reverse as well is this something you're dragging your feet on because look at you have the three of cups with the world these two are sort of in that sense of um maybe you've been denying yourself you've been settled in something that isn't going to allow you to grow and be happy and somewhat prosper so is this where you're letting go of that um, that control? Meaning the control that maybe somebody is putting on you or if it isn't another person, it could be your mind, you know? Um, I feel with the Eight of Wands, you know, there's something there that you want to speak up about. Have you not been standing up for yourself? Have you sort of been sort of, um, you know, just going with the flow with whatever everybody else is doing or... Um, I think that the Eight of Swords is resisting change. It's really, uh, that's what's causing delays for you is because you're resisting change and maybe you're wasting time and energy on something that's meant to end, okay? Especially if it is a marriage or something in the home or something like that. Maybe this is even where you're needing to mend a home issue, but you keep holding on to the grudge, if that makes sense, okay? Um, I do feel you have some kind of enlightenment and that is where you sort of shy away from it. You don't um, allow yourself to change or, um, you know, I think the hangman in reverse, it, it's really as if maybe you have learned that lesson. Maybe you're listening to yourself again, you know, um, and maybe now you're not so much running away from something 
um, I do feel it's resistance. It's almost the same thing. It's like you're resisting something. You're stalling or um, maybe it's stubbornness or that sense of um, indecision. That feeling is going to move away. It's going to go away soon, okay? And you're going to be able to celebrate. You're going to be able to unify. Maybe you're in separation with someone and you're going to come back together. Um, something there is, is, is lessening. It's softening, okay? So... And you'll know when to take that plunge. You won't you won't feel reserved about making this plunge. So is this an offer to somebody or uh, the sense of coming together, unifying, you know? So take it as it resonates. Um, the nine of fire. It's almost like you've gotten stronger about something. Maybe you're comfortable in your own skin now, okay, for some of you. And if not, it's like maybe this is where you're needing to go, okay? Um, so you got, okay, you got the queen, king of wands. So you got the king and the queen of wands. Is this your counterpart? Is this your twin that you're maybe trying to align with? Um, there could be a lot of passion there between the two because you got the ten of cups as well. So this is the happy. See, maybe this is a marriage or a situation that you kept yourself in and you're settling in it. Even though your gut knows that it's completed a cycle and you're letting another situation dominate you. Whether it's actually people or your mind. Um, I do feel the ten of swords is meant to end. Uh, and if you're having that hard time changing, it's almost as if you have to think more positive, either about yourself or about the situation. And that's what the nine of fire is. It's like you're ready. Whatever you're dragging your feet from, it gives you this sort of pain in your stomach because you know you're supposed to move away from it. Okay. So do you not believe in yourself? Do you think everything is going to sort of fail again? That's where forgiveness comes in. Either you have to have forgiveness for yourself or someone else and know that there's a new opportunity for you that's coming, okay? Um, I want to know what is the king of earth? What can you show me for the king of earth? So, okay, the justice. Is this a divorce? Is this a divorce where the person that you're trying to divorce doesn't want to let go? Is it because of money? Because that's what I got with the seven of pentacles. It's almost as if you're being held up by finances okay um and then you have the ace of swords so um you're gonna give you're gonna be given this gift of this opportunity to sort of change something here um <clears throat> it might be because it's time to sort of go down that new route um it's it's being honest it's being truthful it's seeing things for what they are I do feel it will go in your favor if you've been in some kind of tug of war with an ex. Um, let's see, what is the Ace of Swords? What's the you're you're gonna get clarity, something, okay? Uh, you got the Six of Cups, so um, maybe getting happier, healthier, um, going back to a simpler time, uh, thinking about the past. Maybe this is a visitor from the past. I think it's going to be set up by by spirit with this justice card in other words it's almost as if you run into somebody and it's like oh my gosh it's you like i know you um i've always thought about you something like that okay um so if you if you normally take a route and just all of a sudden it tells you to go left instead of going right make it that turn you know um let's see and then you have the eight of swords so uh feeling trapped feeling like your mind is playing tricks on you or maybe you're feeling trapped in something and that's where the clarity is going to come in with the justice and the ace of swords what is the eight of swords please the eight of swords i think you're stuck with somebody from the past what does that mean you're stuck on someone from the past and you're beating yourself up because you didn't take the chance at it maybe um eight of swords what's the eight of swords eight of swords okay the magician so you will be given that opportunity i think that it's it's almost part of your dentist destiny is what it feels like maybe you're just learning your own your own alchemy your own magic um being grounded is what i feel with that king of earth okay so really being able to get out of all these swords and out of your mind and taking action with something okay i want to know what is the conclusion here what is the conclusion okay this one here so see there is that new opportunity coming and you will be able to choose something better you're not going to make the same mistake again is what i've heard here um 
it's like you're making better choices you're getting out of that sense of being trapped in something and there's that ace of pentacles so if you're waiting for that money to come in it's going to come in if you're waiting for that new beginning that move maybe the keys to your house something like that it's coming in it is a gift your luck is changing is what they're telling me okay um what else please and the queen of swords so there's some kind of truth that needs to be told here and that action is going to push you towards it towards what you want starting over having the the ace of swords revealing something um some kind of clarity what i heard with the ace of swords in the beginning was clarity so either you got to speak up or someone's going to speak up to you or you're just going to see things differently and then you're going to be able to come together and grow in the right direction with that three of pentacles and the knight of wands so going towards your passion is what i feel is that a person is that a place is that a business is that a home you would know okay um so let's see here uh let's see i want to know what is the karmic situation here what's the karmic situation here please what is the karmic situation it's this one right here a self-influence um sorry self-indulgence so focus on the self self-worth time to heal shadow work self-appreciation it's learning to love yourself maybe you've been damaged because you've been told you're no good or you stayed in a very toxic relationship that just sort of beat you down you know um you got the snake so calm calm competition envy clever malicious looking over your shoulder the other woman so see i do feel there is another person that you're being influenced by lovingly passionately but yet there's one that you're being influenced by maliciously okay um let's see here so you have the camera so reminiscing keepsakes a perception learning from the past okay uh let's see let me put these back and then let's see what else can you show me here please the karmic cycle so maybe you've been replaying the same thing over and over and that's what i felt with the ten of ten of pentacles the moon um and the ten of swords with the three of swords a lot of heartbreak you know uh almost like you're frozen in anxiety or heartbreak where you just can't get out of it you feel like that is so there's an addiction a codependent maybe it's a codependent relationship uh, I feel you want to break free from someone that's like that. Obsession, possession, controlling has a block restraint. So definitely if that is your person, I would send a lot of love to them. I would send a lot of love to the snake and to um, your person. Okay, because love will heal everything. So I want to know, let's see here. I want to know how, what is, how do they continue to manifest this? situation please how do they continue to manifest you're always gonna you're always gonna be able to heal with love especially if it's a karmic or you know someone who's done bad things to you or something like that okay um inflow with money so i definitely do feel it has something to do with money someone's holding on to your money that's gonna be cut off okay you're gonna be able to go towards what you want okay which is very nice yippee that's a good that's a good thing um let's see here i want to know what is the insight here especially if you've been in a marriage that's just for convenience or or a relationship or a situation okay you got let's let passion roar passion wants you to be expressed um it wants to be known but often self sabotage steps in first take control back from fear and shame and let your passion out into the world uh, and then this one reach for help there is no shame in asking for help it allows you to give someone that opportunity to support you receive and and help can be the abundance you've always desired there you go uh let's see here Let's see. What is the affirmation here, please? What is the affirmation? This one right here. Uh, so today I am respectful. Today I will acknowledge other people's thoughts and feelings of well as well as my own. Very nice. So let's see. I want to know what is the message that pertains to this reading? What is that message, please? The 
what is the message that pertains to this reading? Okay, so it says there, uh, mother load, prosperity, jackpot, success, good fortune, having plenty, money maker, sudden wealth, the real deal on easy street. Woohoo, that's a good thing. And then the summer. So um, the, definitely maybe things are going to start heating up for you in the summer as far as moving, as far as getting that new home or getting that money that you've been waiting for, whatever, okay? I want to know, what is the abundance message here? Getting back on your feet is what they said, okay? Very nice. By summer, you will be there, is what they're saying. It's not going to happen in summer. I think it's going to happen before then, but by summer, you'll be you'll be good. Um, Non-duality. So let your authentic humanity shine forth while also being the inner divine. You become more fluent fluent at doing both so um i know that we're going to be leading our our in our future i see is becoming more humble and more humanitarian and just being more divinely driven okay um and then so we have here the law so sometimes you learn truly okay sometimes you learn true offering through loss you can make a passionate invitation for love to take over and bring her own plan instead of the egos so maybe you've had to go through this loss whatever that loss would be okay um i do feel like that it will be changing for you okay uh, what is the message here what is this message what is the message here okay so so you have here the adaptability so be able to adapt in different ways being flexible getting out of trickery okay and then embodiment so really allowing yourself to grow um and then and allowing yourself to sort of flourish is what i feel with that one creativity so even though you might feel like you you have maybe stayed in dark cycles or you know woven some very bad things in your life they can be changed okay um i want to know what is the unicorn message here the unicorn message okay oh, what else here okay so it says here the first one out is the healer you have the power to help and heal others. So maybe this is that new way that you're going to go towards, okay? But as far as helping others, being humanitarian, maybe even leaving a stressful job or a toxic kind of situation or a relationship. Um, definitely, yes. The answer to your question is a strong yes. Okay, and then family and culture. So learn more about your family stories and history. And that's going to bring the healer out in you too, is what they're saying um so let's see here i want to know what is the angel message here please what is the angel message okay is that it okay so life review archangel Jeremiah, jeremiah sorry take inventory of your life and resolve the change to heal anything that is unbalanced now is the time because we are headed into a different kind of um way of being a more they say it's more freeing it's easier to make money it's not so much about materialism it's more about humanitarian being a humanitarian okay um and so resolve things now for yourself um, what is the chakra message here? The chakra message. So you have the gift of command. When you do that, when you do that life review and you let go of things that have really been hindering you, you get the gift of command. What that means is that you have the power to instant, instantly manifest. There's no waiting involved. Things just sort of come to you, okay? And that's where we're all supposed to be led uh, down, okay? And then you have the soul lesson, clarity. So things in the future are going to become more clear for you. They might be very painful for you to understand or to even comprehend. 
but it's going to allow you to heal okay so the solar plexus you're going to be open to so many different feelings than you ever had before for whoever that is i think it's for everybody really uh, is what they're saying there okay so i want to know what are these two souls telling each other at this moment okay it's this one and then this one as well okay what else one more okay so let's see here you have um harmony is pure love for love is a complete agreement so that's the soul contract coming to alignment for you okay and then you have try to be a rainbow in someone else's cloud so when you take the focus off of yourself and you have gratitude towards other people or be just funny and carefree things will change for you okay helping others um you are making a steady and reliable path you're you are moving to a steady and reliable path and i did get that you're moving literally moving so good for you okay um i want to let's see okay let's do this one here what is the romance angels here what's coming in as far as love this one there okay what is coming in as far as love for the viewer okay so you deserve love okay and you are lovable so start thinking that way and you will attract it instantly you got the soulmate yes this is your soulmate okay and then finances and careers your financial I issues are a factor in your love life right now i think you're being held by something with money and i do see it shifting for you though and then the children so your love is is your love life is being affected by children either you're having that baby or you're starting over or you're just being carefree or maybe it is about your children okay your children are blessed and safe if that's the case okay um loyalty i think you're leading towards loyalty here and so let's close it off with the Quan Yin, please. Quan Yin. Okay, so it's this one here. Whoops, I caught it. All right. So it says, finding your way. When, you f when your feet seem to lead you one way and your head says to go a different way, turn into your heart. I will guide you there helping you to see my signs the most easily and find your way on your beautiful life journey. And that's that's tying into what I said earlier, where maybe you always make a left. Maybe the, you're just going to make a right and you're just going to change everything suddenly. OK, so follow that intuition. And thank you so much for being patient. I'm just doing so much for my dad and it's just so draining, guys. But thank you, and I'm keeping up my job, so, you know, it's just, I run out of time, really. But just be patient. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you guys tomorrow.